الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد أمانك زفتنا النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام سيد بادر بالأعمال أو ما أمة رش هيسن توت أعمال فتن a time of trials and tribulations welcome in the beina yadi saa that before kiamat this will happen so rush towards amal don't be lax don't take it easy don't be in a slow mode realize that akhirat is in front of you and you need to prepare it and fitnas are going to come like when a serious catastrophe is going to happen then governments cities prepare their citizens for this and the apt example is the lockdown a forecasted turmoil plague steps are in place to protect the citizens nabi ali sallallahu alaihi is telling you a great fitna and trial is going to come effort on your iman and your amal should be made so much that you fitna proof the kitha al muslim it will come like how the darkness sets in where there is light and darkness comes but the darkness is so powerful there will be no light visible completely the fitnas will wipe you out to such an extent yabiru deenahu bi aradin min dunya people will sell your deen they will sell the deen to such an extent that you feel rajul mumin in, a, in the morning he is a believer, in the evening he is a kafir, in the evening he is a kafir, in the morning he sold his iman for dunya. And he is one, kal qabid ala al jamr, that person at that time who is ready to hold on to this deen and not compromise on his deen like holding a flame of fire, a charcoal. So outwardly it seems that you are burning. But inwardly you're protecting your Iman and you're protecting yourself from the burning of Jahannam. And a person decides, I don't want to go through this burning, this tafikil is hardship, I'll compromise my deen, I'll sell my deen. Whether a person in his workplace or leaving the house from a surat, I'm compromising my deen for dunya. Whether a person in business has to lie to make a profit, whereas he has to take haram goods and sell it and make an income. Whether it is the people of deen, the, ahlu, the ulama, and for name and fame they sell their deen. Whether it's our own children and we send them on holiday and say here's the car, here's the money, Saturday night, here's the car, here's the expenses. Go have fun. We sell in the akhirat and we engineering, we paying for it. No, there's no need for our children to put pressure on them. For dunya, we put pressure. You need to go to school, you need to study, you need to get good results. Then there's enough pressure. But for thee, no, I just leave it to Allah. He died in Allah's hands. They, they there for swimming lessons, they there for those lessons. Everything else is important, but deen, the awamir of deen, the ta'alim of deen. When youngster was blasting music in front of the masjid, old man came to say, you know what, it's haram at least. Whatever you want to do, do it not in the masjid, musalli. He said, Chacha, I went for hajj in Medina, Munawara, while in hajj I bought the sound system. It's a barakat sound system. So the Zahir meaning is fitness will come and overtake the whole of humanity. Imam Qurtubi, Allah give our ulama jazayah khair, has mentioned the important nukta and said that the hearts of the believers will become black. What kufr? Min al qasawat. The hearts will be hard. Wal ghafla. And they'll be negligent of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Outside they'll be Muslim. Inside they'll be kafir. But this kafir, transactions of them becoming a kafir will be an everyday thing. Man taraka salatam muta'amidan faqad kafara. A person who leaves salat intentionally has become a kafir. 
Sudah hati inside bakul malana Abdul Hamid tamat berkatum outside Muslim inside Yankee. Sudah hati lebih korak. Imam Nawawi explains yang kalib al insan fi al yom al wahid wahada li idam al fitn. The fitness will be so great that forget few years in a certain twelve hour span a person will sell his iman. He's ready to sell his akhirat. He's ready to buy Jahannam for dunya. So let me explain two things. One is it is an ishara, an indication to light. Darkness will overwhelm it. And the solution is light again. When our amal, our tilawat, our dhikr, our dua, our khushu. Nabi alayhi salam in one night, got up and he said, May yuqidhu sawahib al-hujarat. Who's going to wake up the sawahib al-mutahharat? Wake him up. Like you sallin. He was mentioning about the fitness. And then he said, wake them up. They need to perform salat. That his amal will push away the fitness. So you have the greatest weapons. You get uh, nuclear atomic energy. Whatever you want. If there's a room and there's darkness and you fight it, it doesn't help. Do what you're told to do. Ja'al haqqu. Bring haq. Zahaq al-batil. Batil will get wiped out. Automatically. It's an automatic effort. Switch the light on. Batil will get wiped out. And secondly, تَعَوَّذُوا بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الْفِتَنِ مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا وَمَا بَطَنِ Seek refuge, make a lot of dua to Allah to protect you from all this fitness. We need to be asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for protection from all this fitness. So a lot of Dajjals will come. One is the great Dajjal and one is the small Dajjals that will come before the big Dajjals. One will be the... The fitna as it will come before the jal. They say, Allahumma inni a'udh bika min fitna til mahya wal umamat. Allah, I seek refuge from the fitnas of life and death. Wa min sharri fitna til masih dajjal. This is why we should be making often. And I seek refuge not from the jal, from the fitnas of the jal. So Nabi Alayhi Salaam is teaching us, this is a dua for today. What we're supposed to learn normally in the end, this is a dua today we need to be making. That was number one. Number two, لا يشكن أي يصب عليكم مشر من السماء. A time will come, evil will be flooded, throngs in big numbers. Fitnas will come from the sky. حتى يبلغ الفيافي. As those who have been Yaman said, until it will reach Fayafi. They ask him, what's Fayafi? He said, يا أبا عبد الله الأرض القفر. That earth which is wasteland, which is desert, which is in the mountains, which is far away from civilization. Fitness will pour down, will rain on you. Doesn't matter where you are from the heavens, whether you're in the ocean, whether you're in the mountains, whether you're in the desert, the fitness will come upon you. Let us go back in history. Look what Nabi Ali Salam said, Allahu Akbar. Radio stations currently in the world, there are approximately 44,000 stations. Already the rain started many years ago. Then in 1957, 4th of October, the first artificial satellite was launched in space. So it's called Sputnik. Since then, 8,900 satellites have been launched in 40 countries. March 2019 statistics, 2062 artificial satellites are orbiting the Earth. Around 900 alone for the US. One satellite, Astro 3B, reaches 35 million households, 3.5 million satellite homes. Netflix alone is 190 countries, 59 percent 16 to 30 year old age youngsters. And they say themselves, it's indispensable, we cannot live without it. Over the next six years, 2026, on an average of 12,200 satellite channels per year, 53,600 channels. So we've got satellite TV, then we've got cell phone towers, 
In the US alone, there's 307,626,000 plus minus. That's in the US. How many cell phone towers in the globe? Data, they say data is the future. YouTube, 2 billion people are logged in. 2 billion users. 81% are from the youth from 15 to 25. I can give my, cell, my son a phone. I trust him, mashallah. I can give him a laptop. I can give him internet. I can give him access to all of this stuff. I trust him. We don't trust him with the car, but we can trust him with the iman and the akhirat. The special apps developed to hide your surfing, to cover up your surfing, to cover up your trails. Somebody can come with your phone and they won't know what monitoring, what check are we doing. See, people upload approximate 500 hours of videos every minute on Earth. 93% of the video watchers in India watch videos through YouTube. That's 3G, 4G. And now we're going to 5G. And on this lockdown, it's a big hype. 5G, 1400 years ago, what's happening now in this century? My Nabi told us about it. And on what a scale? Can we imagine? Just ponder what? On what magnitude Elon Musk with his SpaceX program, they say by the end of 2020, and while the lockdown is happening, installations are taking place, satellites are being launched. They expect 725 G satellites to be launched. By 2021, 1,600 satellites need to be launched to have global coverage. The CEO of Intel, Robert Swan, says, in 2019 alone, 38 billion devices were connected. And they forecast by 2025, 56 billion devices. Average of seven devices per person. We don't even have so many humans and we have devices. All these alerts of the dull. And now they're calling it the internet of things and cloud-based services. Cloud-based services. Before, we used to do amal and send our amal to the asman. We stored our amal for akhirat. Allah make us mouth today. That wrong that I did on Facebook, that dunya which I love on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, I put it in the cloud of the Jal. It's supposed to go into the cloud of Rahman. I put it and stored it in the cloud of Shaitan. Even the Farishtas can retire now. There's no need because there's enough proof. We've engineered, we've created our own proof. But he's saying our target is we want 75 billion devices. All these uh, uh, big companies, Starlink and OneWeb, Musk, etc. They want around 46,000 satellites in the sky. It'll be flooding, it'll be in the skies, it'll be coming down on you, watching haram, watching pornography, surfing all the sites, surfing to our destruction. We surfing into a tsunami. We into a web, a spider web, which we can't get out of it. Our children are in amanat. Where's our fikr? Where's our concern? La, the third one for today. La taqumu sa'a hatta yataqarab al-zaman. Kiamat will not come until time becomes constrained and restricted. Fatakunu sana ka shahar wa shahar ka al-juma wa al-juma ka al-yawm wa al-yawm ka sa'a. Years like months, months like weeks, weeks like days, days like hours, hours like seconds. There'll be no barakat in time. At the same time, Imam Ghazali and Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah had, we got the same 24 hours, same 60 minutes, same 60 seconds. What's the difference? Imam Nawi says, Adam al Barakah fil waqt, one is there'll be no Barakah in time, what risk, and in our risk also. Means Allah will snatch away the Barakah from everything. In the olden days, a family of 10, 15, Allah make us mouth, we don't have yaqeen, so we say family planning, the, 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 the mindset of battle. 
Every child comes with their own barakah, on their own risk. The more children, the more barakah. Anyway, in the olden days, family of 10 and 15 made one chicken. Everybody ate to their fill. We had leftovers and we sent to the neighbors. Now a family of four, they make three chickens. It's still short. Second meaning is, time will be constrained. All the instruments to make time increase, to maximize time will be there. For example, time travel today. You want to speak to somebody, you can just pick up the phone and phone him. Food, you can just put on, switch the stove on, you can just put on the microwave, knowledge easily, download, a lot of things. But what these two, let me explain, will have all the things to make us do a lot of things in a short time, but still to, we weren't able to do so much of those of the past. Why? Because they had the nur of amal, they had the nur of deen, they had the nur of akhirat. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakat in everything they did. So the dua today we did was to read the dua from protection from Dajjal. And the amal for today is to read Surah Al-Kahf. Whether we read the first ruku, last ruku, whether we memorize the first 10 ayat, last 10 ayat, whether Allah gives a person tawfiq to memorize the entire Surah Al-Kahf. But a person will be protected from the fitness of the Jal and the Jal. Some riwayat say, a light will shine from his feet to the Baytullah. Another riwayat, from his feet till the clouds. So we had this darkness, we had this battle, we had a showering of fitness. Again, amal. Look at the, the correlation. Read Surah Al-Kahf, light will shine. Tell the heavens, tell the clouds, whatever fitness are coming, bring on the light, just switch the light on, turn to Amal, turn to Allah, obey your Nabi, and see what Allah does for you. All the problems of the whole of mankind, dunya and akhirat, only lies in this. The problem is not everybody else, the problem is me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal. Wa akhiru ta'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.